I mean, look at this place. It's, oh, it takes my breath away. It really does take my breath away, this place. Officially, the transfer garage and highway begins way back down the mountain, on the outskirts of a town called Catea de Arge, which is about two hours from Bucharest. In total, the highway is just under 120 kilometres long, and all along its length, there are numerous tourist spots to stop and visit. Just to the north of Catea, for example, you'll find a 14th century Byzantine monastery that was built using materials imported almost exclusively from Istanbul or Constantinople as it was then. Twenty kilometres further up the road are the remains of Vlad Dracul's famous castle. And another 15 kilometres on from that is the spectacular Vidraru Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric power station, complete with a statue of Prometheus, which is actually a pylon in disguise. But then about 10 kilometres before you reach the very top of the highway, the scenery changes and the road itself becomes much more open, much more fluid and a lot more dramatic to drive on. By the time you reach the 890 metre long Capra Tunnel, you just know that there's going to be something spectacular on the other side. Except of course nothing can prepare you for the sight that greets you when you exit the tunnel and look down into the valley below. That is when you know you've reached the Transfer Garrison Highway. And that is when the real fun starts. Someone who really understood what driving is all about designed this road. The way the corners just flow towards you endlessly makes it completely different from any other mountain pass that I've ever been on, or I think that exists. Because yes, you get these incredible series of hairpins, but they're fluid and they're wide and they're open. The highway took four years to build with zero expense spared, and sadly, over 400 Romanians lost their lives during its construction. It's closed for around half of the year between October and May because of snow, but during the summer months, the Romanian people flock to it in their thousands, and they're both friendly and extremely proud of their famous highway. There's a kind of carnival atmosphere here at the weekends, although that is not the best time to visit the highway if you want to enjoy driving on it. Make it a weekday, either early in the morning or last thing at night if you want to properly enjoy the road for what it is. Our journey from Cologne to the famous highway took two long days in each direction and we covered almost 3,000 miles to get there and back. But believe me, it was worth the effort. They say the Transfiguration Highway is one of the best driving roads in Europe, if not the world. And just for once, they're not wrong.